Well, I'm now delighted to be joined uh, by the chair of the scientific committee, uh, Nicholas Kroger. Uh, Professor Kroger, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. It's a pleasure for me for being here. So you're chair of the uh, scientific uh, committee. Tell us a little bit about the role of the scientific committee within the EBMT. Okay. So the scientific council within EBMT consisted of the 11 working party chairs. And the scientific council actually is responsible within EBMT to advise the board with scientific issues, with educational issues, to drive the field forward for EBMT. You're chair of one of the working parties, aren't you? Right, you have to be one of the working parties, so I'm currently chairing the Chronic Malignancy Working Party. This is a working party dealing with chronic diseases. So we are responsible for multiple myeloma, for other plasma cell disorders, for myelofibrosis, so myeloproliferative disorders, to, to name it correctly, this is myelofibrosis, but also chronic myeloid leukemia. And we are responsible for MDS as well as for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So this is our task. So turning our attention a little bit to the, to the Congress here, what, what are some of the scientific highlights, if you will, of this week? So actually there are two, two major points at this point. One is the cellular therapy. The cellular therapy is increasing rapidly. So the allotransplant but also the autotransplant is a cellular therapy at all. But now we have more specific therapies. So we know what kind of cells are needed to prevent graft versus host disease, to get more tumor specific response. And the technology has rapidly increased in the last years also to modify the cells genetically. So we have the called CAR T cells. We have a lot of options now to treat patients or treat patients even after transplant, either to avoid the complication like graft versus host disease or to get a more deeper tumor response by using so-called tumor-specific approaches. This is one of the issues. And the other is to understand relapse better. Relapse is one of the major causes of treatment failure. And this is what we didn't really focus in the last 20 years. In the last 20 years, we worked a lot on improving therapy-related mortality, where we succeeded, actually. But we did not focus on the second reason for treatment failure, which is relapse. And this is now becoming more and more interestingly and coming basic research that specific T cells are more or less responsible or have losing their function. And interesting, one of these abstract has then received the highest score and will receive the Van Beckham Award we will be uh, giving in the, uh, in the welcome reception today. Hmm? A couple of other questions I've got for you. How important is it? I know the EBMT uh, gathers a lot of research, a lot of data which is very useful uh, within research. How important is that data collection function within the EBMT? So actually this is the strength of EBMT because when we started the transplant more than 30 years ago, we, we started that every transplant which is done in Europe should be collected. So the data for transplant. And from this registry we can get a lot of data. We can get a lot of information, what's happened with the people, with different risk factors. So therefore the major scientific is still to get information out of the registry, to do retrospective studies within this registry, to get a lot of publications. So at least in last year, EBMT published more than 70 publications and to give the community more advice how they should treat their patients. Final question is, uh, looking forward, if you will, what would you, like, uh, what would you like to see from the Scientific Council moving forward? What would you like to see of the, 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 uh, the role of science within the EBMT? Um, we should focus also more on the basic of bi on the biology of the disease, biology of relapse, biology of graft versus host disease, biology of other complications to get more basic research. But we should also improve our clinical work, but not only doing retrospective studies, maybe to get more prospective studies. But this needs a lot of investment, so we need to update our registry. We are now working on updating our registry to be on the, on the top level of registry because we are one of the most, the world leading registry association in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. I hope it's you have a pleasure. great week in Valencia. I'm sure we will, so thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.